Okay, and so we've gone back in time a little bit um, because of a little game crash there. So we're back to where the vet has just taken away a poor little ostrich there. So I'm going to just uh, make time go a little faster. I crashed the game by trying to delete one of the food bowls. I'm going to try it again. Seems fine. Seems fine. How very odd. I'm going to keep an eye on the ostriches and just make sure that they have enough to eat. It's moderate uh, quality, but they're not hungry. That might need cleaning up, I guess. I'll call the keeper. Clean it all up. The inspector has arrived. Quick, clean up the pen. Right, I'm just going to check that I've got two keepers now. Because I can't remember exactly what I did here, so... My inspection report is four stars now. Very nice. Jaha and Abajay are starving. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not saying that they're starving though on their report. It's saying it on the um stop. Oh hang on, is it my tortoises that are starving? George, Abril, where's the little guy? That research is complete, hurrah! I'm slightly concerned about this whole starvation thing. Um, I don't know. Ah, so we've researched that one. Many diseases, many, many diseases to uh, to do. There's still a little bit more to do on uh, Campylobacteriosis, bacteriosis, so it'd be good to just go through all the diseases and go through all the animals and then go through more diseases as I get more animals, but yeah, mm. I don't know, was it inappropriate feeders? I'm pretty sure the feeders I put in were appropriate and they had bird seed in them and everything and then we had to clean the bird seed out because it went a bit disgusting. The slow feeder has nothing in it. The forage feeder has five out of eight. I think it's something to do with the forage box, honestly. But they don't seem hungry. The inspector said that they were hungry though. That's so weird. I'll look and see if I can find the inspector's report again. It said Jaha and Abajay in Habitat 2. I don't remember the name of the, the uh, ostrich that died. Sundulu. And one hour. George. And Abro. Did we have another baby that starved or something, or...? I'm so super confused. I wouldn't have thought that out of everything, that the, the food would be where I would be going wrong. It seems too difficult, somehow. Like, environment, plants, coverage, it's fine. Enrichment. A book, so sure. Genetics. Hmm. 
There's nothing saying anything about... Well, apparently they need a bit more sand. Ah, land area preferences and things like that. Ah, okay. That's good to know. Navigable area. It tells you in meters. So they've got like triple what they need. You can put loads of more tortoises in there. These guys. I have 786 out of 712. So they're only just big enough right now. But one thing I could do is remove the path and just um, elongate their pen. That would be really easy to do. It'd just be a case of this. Yep, jump, 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 jump. And then... Meow. I, I would make those noises as well. Just, as I say, very confused about the food. I'm going to remove, I think, their... Um, that feeder, right? I'm worried about them. Because that's meant to be food enrichment, not like their only food. Like I say, these guys are fine. They're filling up their hay, absolutely no problem. Even though they've got enrichment items and things there, I think that's a tiny, that's a tiny bit of a... Well, the fact that when I tried to delete that as well, that it crashed my game makes me think there's maybe something something up with food possibly I don't even know what I'm doing now so habitat and let's go in, go into food and let's go into just like normal food not enrichment food feeding stations so a small food bowl is good for a common ostrich or an Indian peafowl so I'd like to put one of those in here next to their slow feeder And that'll have two kilos of food in it. I'm going to call the keeper to the habitat again. Slow it down and play it. Let's see what goes on now. Let's see if they actually fill this food bowl up. They go in, they're like, everything's okay. And then they run away. And go and see the tortoises. Even though they've got no food in their in their thing. Got no food in there and no food in there at all. Super frustrating. They are not feeding them at all. Come and feed them. You're gonna feed them. Oh, I think they I think they are. Okay, good. Both bowls, please. So, no, if they have, like, a food enrichment thing, then they won't fill up the other food bowls. Or are they going to now? Are you going to? Or are you going to go in there, take a look, think they're okay, and run away again? Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. And it's also interesting that they won't use bird bird seed. Um, whether that's a case that they need to have a particular like seed distribution feeder or something like that, I really don't know. What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? So under their food enrichment now. You can give them back like a porridge box. I think they really like that. But I think you can confuse the game a bit if you give them too much stuff. If I take that away and I take that away. Then hopefully they should realise there's no food there and they need some food. 
But I guess the forage box can count as food. You gonna come and feed them? You gonna be like, oh look, they got no food. Go feed them. I know I'm messing around with their food a lot. But I'm hoping that they're going back to their thing. Little hut. Go on. Back to your hut. Once I've sorted out the problem with the ostriches and I make sure that they've got the right food. And that'll be great. Um, ah, it looks like someone is feeding them in that pellet. So you really only want one food source uh, because otherwise they do struggle to fill it up. Okay, cool. So one thing I want to do for the ostriches then is to make their pen a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Huge. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to stop time for a second. I'm going to go into paths and we're going to move the path around a bit. So I'm just going to get rid of this here. I'm going to still align it to grid. This is, uh, this is, this is the best way to do paths, I feel, in this game at the moment. And I really want lots of ostriches, so I want to just make this, like, about twice the size. We've made quite a bit of money in the meantime, actually. Which is kind of cool. While I was, you know, worrying about the ostriches for ages. Poor ostriches. I don't want another death on my hands, though. I mean, how horrible is that? Right, so now I want to just uh, try and, and work on sort of stretching this out a bit. So... Let's see what I can do. Edit the barrier. I like that you can edit the barrier rather than having to delete and uh, add sections. But that depends on how easy it is as to whether I continue to like it. Okay. Yeah, the problem with it is... It's stretching this out. So let's control Z it back into its previous shape and just try literally just these three sections and see if moving just them will just elongate it in the way I want. Yes. Well, so I can just move this section here to where I want it to be and then I can just uh, some perspex there just fill it in I think that's fine Stop there, that's it. Don't need to go any further. And then we're gonna um, do the same on the other side. Oops, I want that in perspex, please. No, perspex. Did I not click on perspex? There we are. Sometimes you need to click on it and then click on the perspex. This needs to come across a tiny bit. Until we can... Ah! Oh, dude! There we are. Let's move it. Until it clinks in with these guys. Which it should do. Up another 
fact it's decided it won't. Well, that's a crying shame. Yeah, they won't link up. Absolutely sucks, doesn't it? Okay. What I need to do then is to get rid of that part of the barrier. Get rid of that part of the barrier. Getting rid of all of it apparently. Okay, fine. So we're doing that, 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 and that. Okay, and then we're gonna edit some of it to brick. Because the poor dudes, they don't want all that like all that space without any brick, right? So we're going to come out of barrier mode for a sec, actually. I'm going to move this back here. And then I'm going to... So I'm getting better slowly at doing these things, but... Uh, the whole barrier editing thing needs a little bit more work. Okay, so I probably want those three brick instead. And the same round here. I don't want every part of their life to be like visible, so you see. So that to brick, that to brick. And then I probably want to move their donation box as well. Um, I also need to move the people out of the pen. I'm hoping that they might just go on their own. We'll see. Like, leave! Right, so now we should have room for some more ostriches. That's a much, much bigger ostrich pen now. Also though, uh, it looks like when the game crashed it got rid of my chief beef. And all of that stuff, so I would like to put that back in if I can. Because uh, I think the people were a bit hungry and thirsty, weren't they? Yes they were, indeed. I could really do with another little section of, of hiddenness for another power station. Um, because otherwise I can't really put in a chief beef and things like that. So I need a staff path and I just need to maybe put something out over here. And then I can have some... Uh, well, do you know what I could do actually? Which would be probably the most sensible thing I could do is put the chief beef and, and the... Uh, Gulpy soda over this way. Oh, you know what? I want better shops than that. Drink shop. Food shop. And then what we want. Okay. Mmm, tasty. tasty. Lovely. So that's fantastic. So it seems like we've got enough room for the ostriches now. We've got some better facilities for our guests now. Um, over here and over there. I think if we put a, a, a small exhibit or something over here, that might draw them around and make them use some of this a little bit more. Yes, I'm going to take a break there and I'm going to be back very shortly. Okay, everyone, so I think we are, uh, I, I'm so annoyed that that isn't getting removed. Like, seriously? But look, one hour is now an adult ostrich, so that's fantastic. And we now have, if I look on my terrain doofer, um, the terrain is at 98%, so I need a bit more sand. I'll sort that out in a second. Oh, more soil, actually. Did they get rid of it? 
Oh, they did. Nice. So I want to see if I can maybe get some more. Um... Let's have a look over here. We're good. Nutrition still just isn't great. And I still don't understand fully why. Why I can't change their uh, their food. We've got hay there. Let's have a little, just a little look again. Slow down. Slow down, everybody. Slow down. These guys seem pretty happy with the, the hunger and the thirst and the toilet and the nausea and the energy and the happiness and all that sort of thing. What I might be able to do, just to help out with a few things, is to put some benches kind of looking in, like almost like a viewing platform. I'm going to just see if that will help them stick around there longer. And then I think we do need to move on to some more animals because like we haven't, we've only got two pens worth at the moment. Terrible. I've got no conservation doofers. I wonder how much I would get for releasing this one into the wild, for example. So. Oh, I would have to send to the storage trader. Alpha female. You are the alpha female. Animal rating is not very high. Good animal appeal, though. Is there any more females that uh, get born will stay? Any more males that get born will not stay. They will get released into the wild. Sent back to the trade center. So what's going on here? Vet research is done. So we've completely researched that disease, which is amazing. That's all completely fully researched. Very nice. I'm just going to keep going through things. Maybe we could research the ostrich a bit more and we might get better food for them, but... Nah. They're pretty happy at the moment. So now they have enough space to run, which is what they didn't really have before. They've got 1,447 out of 712 meters cubed that they... Sorry, cubed? Squared that they actually need. Um, oh, look, they're totally happy with their little uh, stands behind them, their little areas for eating and drinking. I need to make sure I have a lot of those in there. I would like to put an exhibit in, I think, next. I don't know much about making an exhibit, though. So we've got all of these, like, spiders and things that I can put in. And beetles and stuff. But I don't really know how to make an exhibit for them. So let's see if there's anything about making exhibits. Small animal exhibits. Oh, right, okay. So I would have to make it into its own little thing, I guess. So it's something I could do. I mean, definitely. We could try it out. Okay. So, I'm to assign an animal there to buy something to put in there. We could put frogs in, spiders, all sorts of stuff. Everyone's going, ooh, no. Oh, we could have a snake. Yeah, let's have a snake. Not very good longevity or fertility, really. But uh, do we have another snake? It could, it could breed with Juanita and uh, Roberto. <laughs> they could have a little romance. Okay, <laughs> send them to the zoo. Oh wow, it turns into a little... Oh, wonderful. So once you know what the animal is, it turns into these cute little exhibits. Can I add an extra one now? Because it's... There we are. Quest. Center zoo. 
put in exhibit one. So we've got Juanita and Roberto. They're gonna go in the snake cage. Are they in there now? Can we see them? I think they are. No, I don't think they are. Let's go see if the if they're coming now. For my snake exhibit. I need to put some lights in actually. I think that would be really cool. Um Disruption lighting. Wall lamp. I want to put some wall lamps just down here. To sort of light up the way into the snake enclosure. No people can see! And then also what I want to do is put a little donation bin just right by the snakes as well. That would be under facilities or donation box. There we are. So have they, have they been put in yet? Or I can't tell. But I hopefully this will bring a few more people around this side of the zoo. They come to see the snake. Two snakes. So their welfare isn't great in there, so let's have a look. So the suitability of the exhibit it has no enrichment features. Oh no! People like it though. Look at them all! They're like, we like our boa constrictors. Yes. So I need to put some kind of boa constrictor enrichment into the cage, I guess. How can I add that then? Let's have a look. Good layout enriches exhibits. Temperature is all fine. And close the windows. Right, so they need a keeper as well. So I may need like a small animal uh, keeper that comes over here and does the small animal stuff. Quite possibly. Um, are the snakes even in there yet? Or are they still sitting in... I think they are in there already. I don't, I've not worked with these before, so I don't really know how to add enrichment to them. An ambiance speaker. It adds a little bit of a kick to it, doesn't it? It makes it sound a bit better in here. Okay, so let me go to uh, enrichment in general. Maybe we need to... Uh, habitat. Enrichment. Like, I can't put anything like that in there. I could put a slow feeder in. Or I could put a, a ball enrichment thing. But what I think we probably need to do is desperately to get some boa constrictor research going. Uh, at the moment we're just doing diseases because the, the tortoises and things are pretty happy, honestly. But I imagine that now I can probably start a bit of boa constrictor research, yes. I would like to know more about their enrichment. Not much about them yet. That's fine. So we can have like a little spider exhibit. We can have lizard exhibits. All sorts of cool stuff. People seem quite happy with that, to be honest. If I could make a big building that's full of all of these like tanks and things, maybe a bit like an aquarium. That's definitely something you could do. But for me, right now, 
with my wonky lights. I can't even get the lights right. I mean, what chance do I have of actually building anything? But that is what the steam, the steam workshop is for. <laughs> Not to help me position lights, to uh, to give me nice buildings that I can use for things. Like under construction, so I'm trying to got like uh, architecture blueprints. So I could, for example, put like a tunnel around this. Could add it to Group Twenty Eight. You could put a wall around it, I could put like a brick wall around it. I could have a, an archway around it, for example. So if I added that to group 28, unfortunately it could only really go on top of it. So I can put things around it. I struggle to merge them. In the way that they've, like, for example over here, they've got the... Uh, The gulpy soda and the chief beef, which I need to get a vendor for, clearly. Um, they've got that inside. I don't know how to amalgamate them in together in the building. So I, I think it would be really cool to have a, a bit more of a building tutorial without having to ha have played uh, Planet Coaster. Because I ne when I played Planet Coaster, I will admit, I never did anything like this. Never, ever. I could put an archway next to it. Or around it, or on top of it, or in front of it. I could put an archway there, and then I could go into the archway and see the snake. And then I can put walls, I imagine I could put walls like around it. And again, I could just turn them around, put them against the, uh, and put a little roof on it, and that sort of thing. But then I don't know how then I would put multiple of these into a into like a big exhibit um, display or whatever, which is something I might want to do. So I'm just happy at the moment, uh, just showing you guys our little snakeies. Look, they're in there. They're in there now. You can see them. One of them anyway. Where's the other one? I don't know which one that is. And I also don't know how to add things to the exhibit. That's my problem at the moment. Uh, but maybe one. Well, I do because you just put them inside. But we don't really have anything suitable for a snake right now. But that's fine. And they are only 33% of their welfare, though, which I don't like. Their temperature, their exhibit is too hot. So that's something I can deal with, actually. I can cool them down a bit with a small cooler. So I should be able to put inside. No. Okay. I mean, that's really not helpful. Put it on top of the habitat, and will that make it cooler inside? Well, that did seem to improve their welfare, actually, putting that on the top. Temperature is getting probably too cool now. Oh, dear. I'm going to kill my snakes. That's not good, so hopefully the temperature is going up now. I do not know how to regulate their temperature. And I do not know. Hmm. Coolers. There's only one cooler. There's nothing that can keep them... Okay, it's appropriate at the moment, so... What actually is the temperature right now? 33 degrees. It's getting too hot really fast. So if I cool, put a cooler like over here, that maybe keep them cool enough. If 
That's making them too cool now. I'll move it somewhere else. I'll move a leg over here. <laughs> Yeah, so my poor snakes, um... I know, by putting that over there, it seems to be... No, now they've gotten too cool. So they are really, really uh, narrow temperature range. And by having that cooler anywhere near, it's really causing them issues. Let's have a look at the heat map on it. Temperature here. So we're just in the sort of outs outside of that cooler at the moment. So I think we're either in the range or out of the range, unfortunately, with that. I think we need better cooling equipment and stuff like that for these guys. Hopefully they're not going to die again before we've done a bit of research. I want to see if we've done any research. I don't want to I don't want to edit except editing mode. I want to go and have a look at what research is being done. Okay, so we have some boa constrictor stuff now. I really hope some of it is cooling and uh, heating stuff. Nope. We get any enrichment for them? Uh, I'm not sure. Is there any new stuff? It doesn't seem to be. So these small animal exhibits, they are more trouble than they're worth, to be honest, at the moment. Because the heating requirements are so difficult. Small cooler. More heater. I mean, is there more that I can set on the coolers and heaters? Can I set them to just cool a little less, maybe? Because it was doing really well. I just need it to be a bit less powerful. Let's see what we can do. So at the moment the heat is at 37, it's a little bit too warm for them. They're a little unhappy. Ah, oh, we've researched another three items. Okay, loony balloons and gulpy soda don't have vendors. That's fine for now. It's probably bad management on my part, but making a small profit so we could probably put vendors in there we've got a lot more people coming over here now that might be a good idea go find somewhere to work this zoo is too small to worry about work zones too much now the information center's got no one. Oh dear Oh dear. Alright then. Apparently if I right click that just gets rid of them. You go there, you go there. Hopefully they'll sell stuff. Right, is there anything else that doesn't have good amounts of people in them? Wow, they really want food over there. I've got no bins. I don't appear to have a trash problem though. No one's got any nausea or anything, so we'll just be fine with that then. La la la. 